My little giveaway dance. Got it? Okay. <laughs> Congratulations, you have your drums. You graduated. You graduated. What do you need to let it dry, both of Whenever you want the boys to go up there, then. So, we're going to put it back in the box. So, we'll get that ready, and then you guys can do the next part of it. Yeah, and now we'll do that. Is the mic on? Testing one, two. So today, this afternoon, we're going to be uh, sharing some uh, teachings about the hand drum and how we uh, are in the process of making a drum. And then uh, um, there's a lot of uh, time and effort that comes with making the preparation of a, a, a hand drum and also a power drum. There's, uh, there's um, knowledge and then there's also teachings and wisdom that's carried over from uh, generations of families that uh, from old elderly people they teach the young how to uh, carry on um, carry on with carrying on making the ceremonial instruments that we use to pray with in our ceremonial lodges so this is this is the um, one of the processes of uh, getting the drums made and then in a traditional way, uh, when you're going to go get the, uh, the, the wildlife, which we commonly use uh, either the elk or the moose or the deer, they have a, uh, they call it a hunting pipe. And they use that pipe and they offer prayers, ask the four-legged being to use its body to, to, to uh, use for clothing. And, uh, and this, for this instance here, we're used for a hand drum. So once you're done doing that, you, you clean the hide down, you prepare the hide to, the hide will look like this. You take the, all the fur off and the inside off will be, there'll be fat in it. Then you clean that fat off of that hide. And then from there you will, uh, <coughs> when you're done, you put, put this hide in the water, like the way we have all this hide in this water and you let it soak for, for uh, so many days until it's, uh, it gets really easy to work with. And from there you're going to have a, like a circle. A lot of times it comes from a, a hardwood that you would find like a stump. And they call those uh, stumps uh, like it's uh, a, uh, a circle of life. So you come across a stump and you, you take, a, you cut out uh, wood, the, the inside of that wood and you cut so much where it's going to be a form of a circle and in within that circle it represents a life. It, it represents the, the circle of life where you come be born into this world and then you become a child and then you become a, a, an adolescent, then you become a young man, a young woman, and you become a, a, become a man and you become a woman. And then you become an elderly person. Then it's a circle of life, and it, it represents um, the the sun, the circle of the sun, and it's the the uh, circle of the moon. And it also represents the circle of the, the earth and the four seasons, the the cycle of the seasons that we have. Uh, for this time of the season, it's summer. Then we go into fall. Then we go into winter. Then we go into spring. So it re represents that cycle. When it's a finished product, when you're finished with that drum, th this is how it's gonna. This is how it's gonna work, and this is how it's gonna look. <clears throat> Here's that wood I was talking about. And then when, once we put the hide on, we're gonna be uh, uh, putting on the strings that attach. And then and these strings that that are on this drum, it represents being attached. Uh, in a, in, our, in a language that we've been raised with, we say uh, uh, our, our, our maker, our lawmaker of all things of this uh, sky and earth. He, uh, he uh, made everything to be uh, related to us. 
we have an interconnection to the land and the, and the, the seasons. So that's what we're tied to those, those four directions and those four seasons in that circle of life. That's why we have those tied together. It brings a, a learning from the land and it brings learning of the seasons. It brings us life to knowing how to live on this, uh, this side of the Mother Earth where we live here. So when it's done, uh, we, uh, we talk about the drum sound. Um, it's, it's very sacred to us. When we when we use the drum, we don't we don't use the drum just to be uh, fooling around or just to be messing around. We use the drum in a in a way a form of prayer. The drum is very sacred to us. It's like a medicine. It's it's everything to us. Uh, when you need help, when you when you need a good direction in your life, when we hit the drum. We have that attachment that we talk about when I was talking about the strings being attached. That drum brings us towards the drum and it makes us feel better about ourselves. It, uh, it brings us confidence and uh, it brings us uh, it brings us that uh, uplifting. It gives us hope and it gives us uh, charity and it gives us uh, that direction that we need to feel good about ourselves. And then the, the sound of this drum. The sound of that drum, it, it represents the, 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 the thunder. Um, many of our people, we, we have that uh, the respect of the, the thunder being, the thunderbird that uh, looks after this water. And it, uh, uh, the sound of it is sacred to us. And when we use that, that when we use this drum, it has a, a interconnection to that thunder being, that thunderbird, that helps with our songs, our prayer songs, and it helps us with our uh, our prayers. And then from there, uh, um, the, also it's the it's the heartbeat of our. Uh, they tell us it's the heartbeat of our lawmaker, the great the great being, the creator of all things of heaven and earth. It's a it's a heartbeat of our, our our great being, and then they tell us it's a it's a heartbeat of our mother earth. It's the beat of our mother earth, uh, bringing life to these seasons, and bringing life to this uh, earth to us, to keep it going, and that's her heartbeat. And it's the heartbeat of our people. It's the heartbeat of our nation. It's the heartbeat of our, all our people of North America. And that keeps us going to being strong about who we are, being proud of who we are, uh, being uh, uh, able to carry on what, what, what we have since the beginning and then carrying it on into the future. Should I dance now? <laughs> <laughs> one, you want one? Oh, if you have one. Yeah, oh, there's yeah. one there. Okay. So what kind of hard is this? This one, we, we got it, uh, I believe it's an Altai. Okay. Al so come and grab a hide. There's, there's some more hides back there. Somebody want to hide here? Grab a hide there. there. Like what we're going to do is we'll show you some. Uh, how to tie this drum first. Uh, let's see, should we use you, Devon? So I already pre-made holes in that hide. So once you're done ringing that out, you're gonna put your hide over the drum. Like that, and even it, even it out. You could, you could put it on a grass or on where you're sitting by. Put your hide over this drum like that. So make sure your hide is uh, level. And then when you're going to make hide, the side that the fur was on <laughs> is always on the outside of the drum. On any kind of drum that we have, we, we always do that. And the inside of the drum, where the inside of it was the inside of the animal, I was always in the inside, okay? And then you're going to find one of the holes that we pre-cut in those hides. And you're going to stick this, uh, 
It's going to be up to you if you want the from the, the you want to put the string on the outside or from the inside. It's going to be up to you because these drums are going to belong to you. So you're going to get that string and pull it through, tying a hide. But this is going to be one of the quick ways. And I, I tied some drums here for the Sundance, and this is how I tied them. So once you once you get enough, maybe uh, you're going to pull your string through as much as you can, because you're going to connect it directly across. So it's going to take, a, take you a few minutes. Okay. <clears throat> See, this is where we started. Go directly across. You could measure like that. It's going to be directly across to one of the holes on the other side of that drum. So your 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 drum your hide's going to be moving around a lot. That's going to be okay, as long as as long as you uh, balance it all as you're tying it. So once you once you find the the, the other side of it, you lace the you lace that hide again. You do exactly the same thing. Put that rope through it. So now when you get that that rope across, always uh, pull your hide to where it's going to be even out. So you tighten up that string. You want to help him along over there, uh, Brian, this gentleman? Is that from the outside? You could either the do outside? from the outside or the inside. Okay. I, or myself, I'm doing that from the outside. Yeah. Inside, in. So this is where we should be. Okay, I'm not. Uh, just let me know if I'm. Yeah, just give him a little bit. Yeah, give you a few minutes. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Okay. So once once you get done looping that the, the go directly to the next hole on this side, you're gonna come across again. And see see I looping mine. And come across to the next hole on this side, right? You'll be, be on directly on this side. On the right side. Okay. okay come across so and go to the even? next yeah. opening on this side. Okay. The string has to be even. Uh, no, no, the hide. The hide means like that. Yeah, yeah that, that one's going to be okay. Is yeah. this that hide? Yeah. So. Yeah. What's that? Up. Oh, uh, he's got it. He's good. So, everyone's on a second one. Move over across to the third one. That'll be here. You got it, nephew? Yeah. Okay. After we get it all strung up, we can tighten it up. Then. Yeah, we're going to tighten up. <laughs> Just keep tightening your string as much as you can. Yeah. Uh, you need to tighten your string a bit there. Yeah. yeah. So you're just, uh, you're basically uh, going across. You're going to make like a star. You're going to make a star shape of this uh, with the rope. So basically what we're doing now, you want to help her with this one? And then uh, we're going to, we're like making a star out of the rope. So we're just going to keep looping till we get done. So with your last one here, you're going to go straight across and go under here and go back where it started from. And then you pull it together. See that? See that? And then you're going to wrap it. So you're just making a loop over it. See that? Okay. So when, once that's done, 
go under again and go about three, three over and tie it over this way and grab the other ones that are here. So you loop that and you tighten the rope. Okay. Just keep looping this rope until you're done. And when you're done, you don't have to make like a. Just like a drum loop. Uh, just just tie it a certain, just tie it like this, and it's gonna dry anyway. So yeah, just, just get tighter and yeah, tighter. Yeah, it's just it, gonna yeah. it's gonna. So if any of you have an extra lace, yeah. that one, you're just gonna loop it around a rope like this, like that. Okay. And then just uh. Get him to come help you do the. Okay. Just, just okay, lace it. Yeah. So now the drying process, you, you let the drum, you're gonna let the drum dry on its own. Nigano <laughs> Itanistans <laughs> Yago Machu, Tipia, Guinea Hioia, Nista, Maga, Ngamunia, and Utanta Tamwea, and Big School. First of all, um, I'd like to give thanks to uh, our Creator for giving us this beautiful day today to share some stories about the hand drum and the singing that comes along with it and the teachings that I have hold from my elders that have taught me. Some of the teachings, I don't know much, I'm still young and I'm still learning as of today. And uh, I try and carry myself in a positive manner so that I can uh, respect this drum that I hold, that I sing with. And I'll be sharing some teachings about that here. And uh, like I said, I come from uh, Big River First Nation. Uh, about uh, east of here, so also known as Whitefish. And I sang with uh, Whitefish Juniors for uh, 25 plus years, and uh, my brother is there. You know, uh, as you all heard when we hit the drum, it's uh, Mother Earth, it's a uh, heartbeat of the Mother Earth, they say, when you hit the drum. And there's a story that comes along with it, you know, when uh, when our mom hold, when our moms are pregnant and they they carry us as infants, you know, we're small little babies in their stomach, and that's that um that heartbeat, that heartbeat that we uh, we recognize, you know, when we when they're out of their wombs, and we hear that heartbeat inside when our when our mother was holding us we hear this and uh, so as we got as we were born and we were growing up and going to ceremonies we recognize that that beat when we go to ceremonies that's why it's so calming and it soothes us when when babies are at the ceremony because they recognize that heartbeat, you know, that, that beat there when they go to a round dance or a ceremony and they, they recognize that beat. So it calms the baby down, you know, and, and the rains too. When it rains, 
it, it, uh, the baby will be crying and when it rains, the baby will stop crying because all that liquid they hear inside the womb, it brings, it brings back to their, into their safe haven. So that's why, uh, that's why babies, they, they calm down and, uh, you know, that's one of the teachings I was told by an uh, older woman that shared that story with me. From what I was told from an older singer that has passed on already. And uh, this year is where you pray as a lead singer in the round dance world. You know, my job is before I sing, I say a little prayer, creator and to the drum, you know, and pray for the elders, the little ones, the kids, so that they can walk that good that good walk there of life and not to turn off, you know, with all the temptations that we face with today's society. So that that's as a lead singer, that's my role. And pray for the sick and we get asked to pray pray for people that are sick in hospitals. And that's what we do as lead singers. So we pr say a little prayer before we get up and start hitting this drum. And we think about them and uh, we keep them in mind in our prayers while we sing in our mind. You know, and it, it, a lead singer is, uh, it plays a big role. It's, it's just not picking up a drum and just singing, you know. And I try and tell that to my younger singers, you know, not to scold them, but to just teach them in the right way to hold the drum in high regards for the people and you know, by the people and for the elders and all the little kids there. You know, all these older singers that I sang with, they're all gone. There's only two of them that are left. And, and I've learned a lot from them. And I'm thankful for them, you know, and I hope in the future our younger singers, they do understand these ways, our ways, and keep them, keep them alive in the future as generations because uh, we need to uphold our, our ways, you know, not to, like, play with them in a way. But that's my understanding of the drum, you know, and singing as a lead singer. You know, it helped me a lot, and I, I've seen a lot of good stuff through the drum, through singing, you know, and and this too, uh, I'll share a story about a, the drumstick. Uh, you know, a lot, a lot is, I'm not, a lot of drumsticks are made, you know, and there's, this drumstick plays in a very uh, important role to, in the hand drum, and singing because it, uh, it's willow, it's, that was made out of willow and the willow, we all know that it's a sacred, you know, one of the sacred sticks out there and uh, it, it speaks for us, the willow. And that's why I said earlier that, you know, hit the drum nice and, um, nice and easy, not too hard because they, they work together hand in hand, the drum and the drumsticks because they work together hand in hand and it takes our prayers up there with Creator. And, and they're very powerful. I'll sing a song here, um, uh, I guess a, a prayer song to be appropriate. So um, I don't want to sing a love song. These ladies might fall in love with me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Kelly will be standing right there. <laughs> Taking credit of the love song. <laughs> Hey, I, 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 I,
Ekawe apa akeche, kotawe no ke me kona oh hey ah hey ah hey ah hey ah 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 ke ka asa ke to ya hey ah 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 hey That song, um, I do believe it's from uh, late Art Musuman had composed that song, and it talks about um, don't ever give up because uh, Creator has given us love, so that's what it talks about, and then it, uh, it talks about uh, Mother Earth giving us love, so there's two parts to it, it talks about Creator and Mother Earth that gave us love and not to give up in life, so, you know, through this uh, almost two years that we came through this pandemic, you know, we survived and, you know, through prayer and, um, and our teachings, you know, it kept us going. And I believe we'll, we'll be here for a long time, you know, to uphold our, um, our traditional values as, you know, as one of the, um, the tools we have in life is uh, the drum and song and prayer. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be okay in the future, you know. And remember, uh, young singers, have respect, you know, for our drum. Take it easy, don't hit our drum too hard and, you know, and sing our songs in a proud way. <laughs> 